What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in guys. Today we are going to show you the Curve platform on Ethereum. Guys, in this video we are going to do a deep dive on how to use the Curve DeFi protocol on the Ethereum network and how you guys can turn 500 bucks into, well, not so anything crazy, but you can turn it into as high as 700 bucks or 800 bucks in a year, depending on these rates. Yeah, I know you guys are like, oh, well, that's horrible. Well, guys, that's almost doubling your money in a year. That's pretty good if you ask me. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go over the Curve platform, and I'll also show you guys later in this video how to, instead of just almost doubling your money, most definitely past doubling your money by using and compounding and leveraging other yield farming strategies from different platforms. Let's go and get into it. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, three things for me, like, subscribe, bell button, leave a comment below saying you subscribe, and we're up in the ante too. Um, if you guys leave a link in the description below of a social media post or where you posted this video or where you shared it, you can earn $150 in BTC. But if you guys just say you subscribe below, that's fine. You can still earn $100 in BTC. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me go ahead and show you guys these pools and what they mean. So we have a list of different pools and you're like, what the pants? That is a lot of junk. That's okay. Calm down. We'll talk about it. We'll explain it. So these different pools are different tokens that you can use. So for example, this AlUSD is from Alchemix. Alchemix is a DeFi lending protocol. So what does Alchemix do? Well, with Alchemix, I'm going to show it to you. They allow you to deposit DAI and mint AlUSD. Why is this important? Well, what happens when you deposit that DAI? You can get a loan against it in AlUSD. The loan is paid for in the DAI you deposit. And you can take your AlUSD and you can deposit in a AlUSD pool and earn interest on it. Let me connect my wallet so you guys can see the balances. So you guys can see these are the rewards. You guys can get 21%, 31%. There's different rewards. But wait, guys, let me show you guys how to do this. So you guys have to leverage these yield farms and take advantage of what each of the things are doing. So like, look, this is 31% for the AlUSD curve. Okay, that's cool. Now what's the three curve over here? Oh, well, you basically get 0.4% for the rewards. And now you can either deposit it into here and earn 10% or you can be like, nah, bro, I want to earn 30% or 31%. You can come over here and deposit it. And you can earn that in USD or Al USD stable coins. And then you can take those Al USDs and deposit in here and compound your gains. So, anyways, guys, um, that that also helps with that. So you're seeing all these different tokens. And you're like, what the pants are these? So Ave, it's the same thing. It's a synthetic Ave. This is on the synthetics platform. So that's how you can keep that in mind. Um, the A Dai and A USD is basically your tokens deposit on Aave. You can redeposit them over here and you can earn curve tokens on them. As long as you aren't on the Aave platform, um, borrowing against it and um, compounding uh, the or leveraging your yield farm, you can deposit them over here. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. I'll explain it later in this video. I've also explained it in other videos. So that's just a breakdown of a couple of different pools. Now that you guys kind of understand those concepts, um, the two that I think that are really interesting are the LUSD pools and the, um, the curve pool. So the LUSD is interesting is because you can go to a protocol called liquidity. So on liquidity, what is interesting about liquidity or liquidity is you can deposit tokens in here. So yes, there is a minimum um, collateralization ratio of, ratio of 110%. So that factors out to about one Ethereum or 0.5 Ethereum. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, well, actually, it's about one Ethereum because one Ethereum is worth like 2,700, and you can get a loan against that in 200 LUSD. So whatever the Ethereum price is, as long as it's over 2,000. But you don't want to get super risky. So being on the quote-unquote safe side, not financial advice, guys, is looking at two Ethereum. And you guys can see I can get a $1,800 uh, loan against it. So I'm depositing this and this loan is entirely free. The only fee I have to pay is $9. I have to pay $9 because the fee is 0.5% against the amount you borrow. So I can deposit my ETH and I can get a free loan against it. 
and I can bring my loan over here and I can earn 1.19% and paid in curve tokens 13.3 to 33.24% interest. So guys, that's basically just about 35% interest on basically Ethereum, or you can call it that. So it's it's massive, it's crazy. Or you can just be like, nah, I, I wanna be normal, I just wanna do Ethereum and you can deposit it. So this base APY is basically what the average is coming out to uh, daily. So you have a daily APY, which is 1%. You have 1.33% for weekly, monthly is 2.7, and the total APY is 3.52. How do they get the 3.52? Well, the 3.52 is annualized, so the longer you keep it in the pool, the more rewards that you are going to earn. Same thing with this 6.18 to 15.44 CRV. This is um, the max boost, that's why you see the um, additional amount on the end of curve. The reason why there's a max boost is the more pools that you deposit into, the more that you can earn. And it's very simple to do this. You literally click on any of the pools that you want, and these are the different tokens that you will need. So if you're ready to provide liquidity, you hit this section at the top, you see where my mouse is, it says deposit, and you pick the pools that you want. So right now we're on the, um, well, the pool that we selected was the curve pool. So if you wanna do the LUSD pool, you literally click on the LUSD pool, and at the top of the page, you hit deposit. and It'll automatically tell you what you have to deposit. No, you don't have to deposit every single token into here, you can choose which tokens you want to deposit. So I'm just gonna show you guys this in an example. I have some USDC. I'm just gonna say 6,500. And I'm not gonna do this now because I don't wanna use the Curve platform on Ethereum right now. I like using it on Polygon better, but that's just me. I'm just doing this to show you guys the gas fee. So this is the approval and the other gas fee is, at this rate, it's probably gonna be about 15, $20. So that's something you can factor in as well. You can also adjust the slippage. This is literally just like on the Polygon network. The same concept occurs here. The reason why you want to do deposit and stake engage is because in order to get these rewards that you had over here on the main um, deposit page, you have to deposit them to earn the rewards. Other than that, it'll just be an automatically um, accruing just 1% for you. But the tokens, they automatically accrue interest as you hold them. But when you deposit, you earn tokens in Curve. A lot of people ask me, um, what's, what's the point of Curve? What's so good about it? Well, the main point of Curve is um, swapping like assets. So like swapping stable coins for other stable coins, you're basically going to get the best rates here. Or swapping uh, different wrapped BTC versions to different BTC versions you're gonna get the best rates here. Same thing with wrapped Ethereum or any wrapped token, you will get the best rates here. There's not just one wrapped token. The best rates are typically gonna be on Curve for that because that's where most people come over here for it. And the reason is, is because they give really good juicy rewards on the different pools. And the reason why I like these pools is they, it doesn't get rid of impermanent loss, but it lowers it. The reason it lowers it is because you're depositing like currencies that are gonna move at the same rates. So this is one of those things that lowers in permanent loss because of the assets that they're depositing into here. So I highly recommend you guys take a look at these pools. And if you guys are like, no, I only wanna do USD pools, you can select that. If you say, no, I only wanna do BTC pools, you can select that. If you only wanna do ETH pools, you can select that. And if you just wanna look at the others, it doesn't matter, you can look at them. If you ever wanna see what your rates are and what you're earning, you can go to my dashboard and it'll have all of your claimable tokens and what you're depositing. Nothing shows up for me because I don't have anything deposited. Me personally, what I'm looking at is if you guys are bullish on Curve, you can use the Curve platform to deposit tokens in here. So like for example, the USDN pool, paying 4% and then paying up to 41% in Curve, that's pretty good. That's really good, guys. How much do you get paid in your bank? Oh yeah, it's like nothing. It's almost negative interest rates now. So take a look at these pools, play around with it guys. This is DeFi, go ahead and try it, see what's going on with it. And yes guys, there are risks involved. I'm gonna go over these. First is uh, permanent loss of a peg. These use a lot of peg coins. So if their coin loses their peg, well, it's your money you're gonna be losing. There's also staking risks. There are also smart contracts risks. There's different risks involved in this guys and you wanna be aware 
Um, so it's not like a one all be all type. So you're asking yourself, what the pants is the use case for the curve token? Well, curve is basically just the governance token. It just governs the network. Basically, if you're holding the curve token, it basically says, hey, look, I am basically a voter in this network and so on. So that's just a DeFi strategy you guys can use on Ethereum. Do keep in mind, guys, if you're going to use low amounts of like $500 or I, I wouldn't consider it a low amount, but I'm, I'm saying everything's relative. If you're doing something with $500, you got to factor in, in per, um, yeah, in permanent losses one, but the gas fees, guys, the gas fees are like $13, $14 on it. And by the time you uh, earn the interest, your gas fees are going to basically be putting you out on for maybe 13 no, it, was, it would probably be about three weeks till you guys are finally getting into the profitable profitable position with the interest uh, recouping it, as long as curve prices stay the same, obviously. If curve prices go down, well, it's going to hurt you even more. That's the reason why I like using the Polygon network. Some people wanted me to talk about the ETH network, and that's the problem with the ETH network right now. If you aren't dealing with the big numbers and big amounts, it's not going to be as profitable as a Polygon. Because um, Polygon, the gas fees are extremely low. Or even something like Phantom or Binance Smart Chain. The gas fees are a lot lower. So that's something to keep in mind as well when you guys are building your strategies. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash up the like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new video. And guys, if you leave a comment below saying you subscribe, you get thrown into a drawing for $100 and free BTC. But if you leave, in addition to that comment, a link where you shared this video on social media, you will automatically earn $150 in BTC if you are selected or if the comment that has that comment in it is selected. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 25, verses 14. Like clouds and wind without rain is one who boasts of gifts never given. That's true, man. A lot of people brag, and some people brag sometimes, and then you really find out that they didn't get anything or didn't do anything or earn this or won that. And it's like, uh, okay, bro. By the way, dogs, if you guys want to check me on TikTok, you guys can check me out on TikTok. I do daily wisdom one-liners there as well. I'll put a, a TikTok handle in the link in the description below. I, I think that's what it's called. That video. All right, guys, if you guys want to get some free BTC, here is the quadruple threat. Guys, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up for Celsius. You get $40 in free BTC. I get $40 in free BTC. It is a win-win. And if you enter in any of these codes, this is for a limited time. You will get an additional bonus of BTC, guys. You cannot beat that. The next in the quadruple threat is Voyager. Guys, when you sign up for Voyager, deposit $100, you will get $25 in free BTC. Need I say more? Probably not. The next one is BlockFi. This is also in the link in the description below. Deposit $100 and you also get $25 in free BTC. And both for BlockFi and for Celsius, you will be earning interest on the money you deposit and interest on the money you receive in the bonus, as in the BTC. And the final one that's in the link in the description below of the quadruple threat is Crypto.com. Guys, when you get or reserve the MetalCrypto.com Visa card, which is the Ruby one and up, you will get $25 USD paid in CRO. Guys, you got to check out these bonuses. Lots of fun. Thanks for tuning in.